everyone and welcome back. This week we are going to be exploring together the story of Jesus calming the storm. You can find it in your Bible, Mark 4 verses 35 to 41. So the storm on the lake. It was evening and Jesus was tired after teaching the crowds of people all day. Let's cross to the other side of the lake, Jesus said to his friends. So they prepared the boat and set sail. Jesus went to the stern of the boat and lay down, a cushion under his head. He was soon fast asleep. At first, the boat bobbed up and down gently. Jesus' friends thought about all they had seen and heard during the day as they made progress across Lake Galilee. But then, as so often happened, on that stretch of water, the wind suddenly changed direction. The waves began to crash over the side and the boat lurched dangerously up and down. The men clung to the mast of the boat. Even the fishermen among them knew they were in danger. They felt sure that they were going to drown, but Jesus was still fast asleep. Master, help us, they shouted, waking him. Don't you care if we die? Jesus stood up. He spoke to the wind and to the waves. Be calm, he said. The wind dropped and the sea was still. Then Jesus turned to look at his frightened disciples. Why are you afraid, he asked. Don't you trust me? Jesus' friends were amazed. They had no idea he had so much power. Who is he? They asked one another. Even the wind and the waves do what he says. Now you might want to pause the video to answer these questions. What are some of the things that you find really scary? In the story, who was scared? What were they scared of? And who was with the disciples in the boat? The disciples were scared of the storm, but Jesus was with them. When the disciples called out to Jesus, he heard them and kept them safe. We are living in really scary times, but Jesus hears all of our prayers. And even when things seem really scary and we're worried about school or schoolwork or friends, we can know that Jesus is with us and in control. A question for the children to ask the adults. Can you tell us about a time when you felt scared, but you knew that God was with you? Now, a family activity. You will need some paper, a large bowl or a bath of water. So make your own origami boat together. You might want to make some paper figures to go in it as well. Float the boat in a bath, sink or bowl of water. I, this is an example of a boat that I made earlier, made out of paper. And in the comments, there will be a picture of the instructions. Why don't you show us your paper uh, creations in the comments below? Why don't you, when making your when making your paper boats and floating them on the water, uh, retell the story of Jesus calming the storm? You could make the storm by splashing the water or blowing hard at the boat. Remember to listen carefully for the bit in the story when Jesus tells the water to be still and stop the storm. Another activity is called play a game of musical storms. When the music plays, everybody should dance and move around like they are being blown about in the storm. When the music stops, they should freeze and be still just like the storm in the story. My Lighthouse by Ring Collective is a great song to play the game to, as it talks about God being our peace in the storm. Now, a prayer to say together to end with. 
Dear God, thank you for the story of Jesus calming the storm, which reminds us how big and powerful you are. Thank you that you are with us in the scary times and that you always hear our prayers. We pray for those in the world who are scared at the moment, that they would know you and your peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you next week for another story.